Hello, my name is Tom Drivers. I'm the president and CEO of API Energy Corp. API is a technology and a metals company, and, and we're exploring for high-grade critical rare earths and uranium and gallium in, in Canada. Our main for, uh, project is, is uh, Osses Lake. It's a project uh, it, uh, located in, in north, um, uh, uh, northern Saskatchewan. It's 35,000 acres, 100% owned by Apia. We've, we've done exploration there for the last three uh, years. We have discovered seven zones uh, at surface or near surface. We, we have grades up to 49% total rare earths of site. And a quarter of that is, is uh, critical uh, of rare earths. Uh, also, we have high-grade gallium and uranium on the property. Uh, we were quite excited because this, this uh, Alcesbeck project has a, the, high, the second highest grade uh, of, of the main uh, rare earth project in the world. And, and um, uh, it, it has all the elements to uh, be a viable uh, uh, rare earth uh, uh, producer, a deposit. And our goal is to become the main supplier of critical rare earths in North America. The, the main uh, elements that we see is uh, critical is the grade, is the mineralogy. All our rare earths are, are, are basically contained within monozite, and monozite is, is, is it, 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 we can extract rare earths from monozite. Uh, it's in the right location. Saskatchewan is the best mining jurisdiction in Canada and the world. It, it, it also understands uh, radioactivity. Uh, rare earth comes with some uh, thorium and uranium. And uh, also the, the, the other element is we, we've got it. We have to have the critical rare earths that are, are about uh, the, the um, neodymium, praseodymium, dysprosium uh, that are used for permanent magnets that have about a, 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 a 85% of the value of the total rare earths, uh, 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 basically. So, and one more thing is you got to have a processing facility nearby, and there's a processing facility being built in, 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 in um, Saskatoon. Uh, and be operational by next year. Apia trades at uh, uh, CSC under the symbol API, and it also trades at OTC under the uh, QB under A, PAAF, and in three exchanges in in, um, in Germany. Please look at us up uh, us at our um, website apiaenergy.ca. Hi, this is Rana Vig from Blue Lagoon Resources. Our uh, uh, flagship project is called Dome Mountain, which is just outside of the town of uh, Smithers in northern British Columbia, a short 50-minute uh, drive to the uh, mine site. The key to our projects are uh, three main points. Number one, it's fully permitted. It has all the permits required to get into uh, production, uh, uh, which we believe that we can accomplish uh, this uh, this year. The only reason it's not in production is because it, it had to have three amendments that were that were required that we're working on. The water treatment facility, which uh, had to be uh, finished, will be finished uh, in about uh, three weeks. Uh, the uh, underground uh, bolting is already complete, and the reclamation plans we expect to be finished by, by April. So once that's done, we feel very confident that uh, we will get the green light to uh, to get into, uh, into production. Number two, there are 50 15 high-grade veins that are already uh, known on this property. And we uh, uh, are, are just embarked on the 20,000 meter drill program, which is the largest exploration program that's ever been conducted on this property. So we're very excited about, uh, about uh, 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 doing that work uh, uh, ongoing uh, currently and throughout the, uh, the summer. And the last point is the, the exploration. There's 19,000 hectares uh, this property has, which had never been explored. My predecessors had only focused really in, in, on this small piece of uh, area known as the Boulder Vein, where the where the recurrent resource is, and they had never explored the balance of the property. So we are going to be exploring uh, uh, all of that uh, this year and beyond, and uh, looking forward to seeing uh, you know what we can uh, what we can highlight there. And that's uh, that's uh, nearly nineteen thousand hectares. So the three main points are that it's it's a, a near production, a true near production opportunity that we believe we can uh, we can get into. Production, uh, this year, uh, mining uh, the 15 high grade veins that are known on the property, as well as the vast blue sky opportunity uh, with the 19,000 hectares. And uh, that's the Blue Lagoon story. Hi, my name is Nick Rodway, and I'm VP of Exploration and Director with a new listing company called Core Assets Corp. Ticker is CS, um, CC on the CSE. And we have about 22 million shares outstanding. 
Um, the company is, has a property up near Atlin, BC, and we're targeting CRD and porphyry style mineralization. CRD stands for carbonate replacement type deposit. We, this summer, we are planning on flying a VTEM survey, uh, electromagnetics and magnetics to better refine our drill targets, which we are fully permitted for this year, fully permitted for drilling. We have high grade silver, 85 ounce per ton, and high grade copper in Scarn and Mantos style mineralization on our property. So we have the opportunity for several different deposit types to discover um, in this area. So our main catalyst this year, our, our VTEM survey, our exploratory drilling program, which will be anywhere from eight and 18 holes on the property. And uh, basically what success would look like for us this year is if we can lock into one of these uh, mantos for the CRD type deposit and follow it back to its source. Uh, we should see some good high grade silver and, and copper numbers here for that. Uh, we're fully cashed up and uh, we're ready to roll for the 2021 field season. Hi, I'm Scott Sheldon, president of Flow Metals. Flow is a grassroots company looking for a greenfield home run. We have 100% ownership in three Canadian gold projects. First project is the New Brenda, and that's in British Columbia. It's a large 100 square kilometer property and it's right beside the Elk High Grade Gold Mine. That's owned by Gold Mountain. Our Ashwinipi project is a collaboration with Windfall Geotech, a respected AI tech, uh, mining company out of Quebec. That project is the result of a massive 330,000 kilometer AI study over about five years. The study was targeting BIF style or banded iron uh, formation style targets. Our focus this past summer has been on the 60 mile project. That project sits on three active placer camps and it's in an area with a long history of exploration dating back to even before the Klondike gold rush. The property also has over 20 kilometers of strike length, which is very encouraging. One of our favorite parts of the project is it's only a 15 minute drive to the Alaska highway, which makes for very easy exploration. This summer, we've already found a new shallow high grade zone and most of our results are still pending. So please pay attention, uh, stay tuned. Um, find more information at flowmetals.com or you can follow me at Scott Metals on Twitter. Hi, I'm Scott Sheldon, president of Go Metals. Go is a purely Canadian battery metals company. We've got 100% ownership in two Canadian projects and our focus this past season was on the Monster IOCG project in the Yukon. Uh, the IOCG stands for iron oxide copper gold, and that means great potential. You only have to look to success stories like Carapatina or the Olympic Dam. Our project has high grade copper and cobalt on surface, and we've got gold and silver as well. So that makes this a truly polymetallic project. We're currently going through the class three application process, and this will help us expand development in the future. We also have the Quebec HSP project, and this is the definition of low carbon nickel. It's just down the road from a brand new hydroelectric dam, and it's got great nickel, PGE, and copper showings. We've completed all of our geophysics, and we have our targeting set. So this season, we're ready to get out and test those targets. The company is fully funded as well for this season. If you'd like to find out more information, find us at gometals.ca, or you can follow me on Twitter, at Scott Metals. Thank you. Greetings. I'm Mike Sieb, president of Getchell Gold Corp. The company trades on the CSE under the symbol GTCH and on the OTCQB under the symbol GG. LDF. Getchell Gold is a well-positioned gold and copper exploration company focused in Nevada, the number one mining jurisdiction in the world, as reported by the Fraser Institute's annual mining review. The company has cash in the bank, and it is estimated that an additional $3 million will be brought into 
the company's bank account over the year because of warrant conversions. The company's flagship project is Fondaway Canyon. It was acquired about a year ago and it did come with a very sizable historic resource. However, in addition to the historic resource that does bring considerable inherent value, it is actually the untapped potential that is really the compelling part of the story. And Getchell has started to prove just that. We have recently announced the results from a very successful drill campaign that was completed in late 2020 that demonstrated the continuity and significantly extended the thick zones of gold mineralization down dip from surface on two broadly spaced sections. The mineralization remains open laterally and at depth, and the mineralizing system at Fondaway appears to be more extensive than previously thought. In 2021, the company will continue to expand on its recent successes, and we expect to be one of the most active junior mining companies in the region. It should be quite a good year, so please come check us out. My name is Jonathan Buick. I'm the President CEO of Idaho Champion Gold. Our ticker is ITKO on the CSE, I for Idaho, TKO for Technical Knockout. The video that you're seeing while I speak to you today is of the Champagne Mine. This is a past producing open pit heat bleach that BEMA had in production 1989 to 1982. You can see they barely scratched the surface. You will also see that there's drill rigs turning. Those results have come out and we have more results to come. We also drilled our second gold project in Idaho, the, Champ uh, the, the, the Banner Gold Mine. Management owns 32% of the company. We're aligned with our shareholders. Idaho has been a continuous mining state since the 1860s. We believe it's a great jurisdiction. It's now ranked ninth in the world by the Fraser Institute. Uh, we've got uh, activity in the field, uh, drilling underway at the Champagne. So far, we've reported results. We had 43 meters of 1.04 grams gold and silver uh, equivalent, 35 meters of 1.36 gold equivalent, uh, and, and are active and busy and looking to drill uh, in the coming spring. We also did a IP program. We believe we're in a, a collapse caldera in a part of a larger Corfrey system. 800 meters west of the pit that you're seeing here right now uh, is an IP anomaly that is, is massive. It's one and a half kilometers by a kilometer. That is our primary target for this coming season. We have a mix of BLM and patent ground. Patent ground is the best ground that you can have. At Banner, we drilled 11 holes. Those results will be coming out during PDAC is our expectation. So you'll see new and live information from Banner and as well as some more results to come out of Champagne. ITKO is our ticker. We believe it's a great place to be. We've got money in the bank. We did a, a institutional financing last July. It's free trading, it was a prospectus offered. So we are funded for the first phase of this coming program. I look forward to answering more questions. Our ticker symbol is ITK or Idaho Champion, sorry, IdahoChamp.com is our website. 416-569-7092 is my mobile. Jonathan Buick, Idaho Champion, ITKO is our ticker. Thank you. Hi, I'm David Stein, President and CEO of Kuya Silver. Uh, we are newly listed on the CSE, ticker symbol is KUYA. Our flagship project is the Bethania Silver Mine in Peru. It is a recently past producing silver mine that Kuya is looking at expanding and optimizing and putting back into production all in the next 12 months. Uh, these are high grade silver polymetallic veins, very well known. And what we are looking at doing is building a plant there and uh, we uh, and, and getting into production and free cash flow very soon. We've got great exploration potential as well. We, uh, we know where the veins are, so we're going to be drilling them along strike and at depth. So we'll generate lots of exploration news this year. But more importantly, we're going to be moving forward towards production. And I think that's what makes us different than the vast majority of other uh, junior or small cap silver companies out there. Now, on top of that, we just acquired a project in Ontario, uh, which we call the Silver Kings project. And it's in the past producing uh, area near Cobalt, uh, 80 years of silver mining history and very little work done recently. So we're very excited to get in there, uh, drill out some resources and look at, uh, look at making that mine number two potentially in the next few years. So in order, if you want to get more information on Kuya, please visit us at our website, www.kuyasilver.com. 
you can get more information, you can email questions, and you can even book a meeting with management. Uh, so um, we look forward to, uh, to talking with you further. Hi, I'm Michael Collins. I'm president and CEO of Exploits Discovery Corp. We're a CSE listed company. The ticker is NFLD. Exploits is a Newfoundland focused uh, junior exploration company in the Exploits subzone gold belt. We have over 2,100 square kilometers of ground in Newfoundland in the Exploit subzone. We have um, an exceptional opportunity there for discovery. Uh, we've got five discrete drill targets that we've developed in the last six months. We're flying a large airborne uh, VTEM survey right now, and we're uh, looking to interpret the results of those in the spring. We're raising money right now for uh, drilling, and we expect to be turning a drill as the snow comes off. Exploits, is, uh, because it has such a large land package, it is also negotiating with um, various joint venture partners, and we look to bring other people's money in to have them explore on our ground. We think um, it's probably one of the premier plays in central Newfoundland. Uh, great opportunities. We've got assets on the Appleton Fault, the Joe Betts Line, the Dog Bay Fault, um, similar structures to what we're seeing being explored by Newfound Gold, Labrador Gold, and also uh, similarities to what we're seeing with Sokomen on the north, which is more on the Valentine Lake um, Red Indian Line trend. So Exploits Discovery Corp, a great opportunity, and I hope you'll take a look at us. Our website is exploits.gold, and we've got the uh, area play map there that you can also see. My name is Jag Sandu. I'm the president, CEO, and founder of NSJ Gold Corp. NSJ Gold Corp has got a high-grade gold project in Arizona. We are trading on the Canadian Securities Exchange under the symbol NSJ. The property that we have is about 30 miles east of the town called Parker, 21 miles east of Copperstone Mine, about 80 miles south of the Moss Mine. The Moss Mine is currently in production, which is owned by Northern Vertex. Our website is nsjgold.com. We have an option to earn 100% of this gold project by spending $4.6 million over five years, pay $300,000 in cash, subject to a 3% NSR. The project has been drilled before in the past. It's got some really good historical drill results. Our goal is to go back in there, start drilling, commence drilling, and hopefully outline a gold resource. We expect to start drilling by the end of March. We've done some met work on the ore. It's, it's a very good ore. It's oxidized. And using simple gravity separation, we can get 89% of the gold out. We have a strong management team, extensive experience in the mining sector. Our geo, Richard Kern, has been very successful in Nevada and Arizona finding good projects. We've got 23.1 million shares outstanding, 34.6 million shares outstanding fully diluted. Thank you for your time. Good afternoon. I am uh, Christian Scovena, the CEO of Ready, Set, Gold. We trade on the CSE, the Canadian Securities Exchange, under symbol RDY, and also trade on the Frankfurt Exchange under the symbol zero MZ. Uh, we're happy to be here today to uh, present our story. I'm here with Brad Lazic, our <coughs> VP of Exploration. Uh, Ready Set Gold is focusing on its flagship property, uh, which is in uh, Northern Ontario, uh, just slightly south uh, uh, east of uh, Thunder Bay. We are in the uh, Hemlo Scriber Greenstone Belt. Uh, we have a uh, past historical uh, resource of uh, 1.2 million ounces uh, of an estimate. Uh, I'll have Brad go into further detail on uh, the property itself. Um, a little bit about the share structure. We have just under 30 million shares. We have uh, 29.6 million shares outstanding. Um, we're currently trading uh, roughly about 35, 36 cents right now on the CSC. Um, the valuation on the company uh, as to uh, the ounces in the ground that we have, we're trading way below uh, our peers at roughly $8.50 US uh, per ounce in, in gold. So what we see is we see a tremendous value uh, for our shareholders and for you know new individuals that are looking for a, a junior gold explorer uh, like Ready, Set, Gold. Um, one key point to, or to point out is uh, of the 29 million shares outstanding, uh, we roughly have 14 and a half million shares that are free trading. Uh, the rest of those shares have been locked up in a two year sale restriction. Um, 9 million of that comes from the vehicle that we used uh, during our RTO and um, 3.2 million uh, shares that were issued to two separate groups 
uh, being Wallbridge and uh, GTA, um, sorry, CBLT um, for the acquisition of the North Shore Gold Project. And so those are also in a two year um, lock, uh, sale restriction lockup as well. So t very tightly held uh, uh, share structure. Um, Excellent opportunity to get into a uh, junior gold uh, gold company in Northern Ontario with tremendous upside. Thank you, and I'll pass it on to uh, Brad Lazich, our VP of Exploration for the company. Yeah, so thank you. On on, on North Shore itself, um, it's a de-risk project with approximately forty thousand meters in the ground. Um, the, the million, the over million ounce contained gold is is based off of a forty three one hundred one. And it's all uh, it's all contained within a small footprint of 300 meters depth. And the exciting thing is it remains open in all directions. And uh, in indications based off of, of recent modeling suggests that the grade is increasing at depth, which is uh, encouraging to us. And uh, ultimately, we feel there's an excellent opportunity to to better the model, um, better model the resource as well uh, at North Shore, so uh, so we could efficiently and, and successfully grow it on, on strike and at depth. Hi there. Thanks for joining me today. Renforth Resources trades on the CSE under the symbol RFR. We're a junior resource company with five properties in our portfolio. We're very well funded. We have about six and a half million in cash and securities on hand. Our flagship assets, the Parbeck Open Pit Constrained Gold Deposit on the Cadillac Break in northwestern Quebec, adjacent to Canada's largest gold mine, the Canadian Malartic Mine. Additionally, we have our Surimo District Nickel property. It's 215 square kilometers, also adjacent to Canadian Malartic, in fact. With road access, the road ends at a hydroelectric dam. We have power lines on the property, and we have a large nickel, uh, sulfide nickel, and copper zinc VMS deposit. We have uh, discovered we're currently working on about three of the five kilometers of strike of one end of the 20 kilometers of uh, intrusive bodies on that property. Um, we also have our copper silver surface discovery in Quebec, Malartic West, which is north of Surimo. Nixon Bartleman, open, uh, it's, it's open strike gold, 500 meters on the Destra Porcupine in West Timmins. We're near the Bell Creek Mine and the Timmins West Mine. Um, and then we have a property we've optioned out to 03. Currently we're drilling our Parbeck property. We're approaching uh, 13,000 meters drilled since last fall. And it's exciting. We have 22 drill holes from last year and 13 from this year for which we do have not yet put out assay results. We don't have them. So lots of news coming. Parbeck drilling, and we're going to drill Surimo, three kilometers of nickel bearing uh, mineralization. Um, so it's going to be exciting. And then we'll do a resource update for Parbeck this spring, and we'll get out to do some work at Nixon Bartleman in Ontario and our copper silver discovery on Malartic West in, uh, in northwestern Quebec. So lots going on. Follow us, our websites, renforthresources.com. We're also on Facebook under the name Renforth Resources, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, and lots of things for you to keep track of. So join us. And thanks for your time. Uh, I'm John Contact, president of West Red Light Gold Mines. West Red Light Gold is headquartered in Toronto and listed on the CSE under the symbol RLG. We are experienced management team this will be the third time that we monetize gold exploration and development assets in Ontario. Our last two projects were in Timmins, Ontario, and we sold uh, assets to the likes of Rob McEwen for multiple hundred million dollar deals. We're now in Red Lake, Ontario, another very prolific Ontario mining camp. We have a property with three former uh, producing mines on it. Uh, the Rowan mine, we have a resource. It's 1.1 million ounces, graded 7.57 tons, and it's all five, seven grams, I should say, and it's all within uh, 500 meters of surface. Uh, and we're gonna go to depth to look to expand the 43101 uh, resource, as well as make the ounces more valuable by upgrading a certain percentage to indicate it and doing the scope and studies to show the economics. Where we've been busy most recently is at the NT zone where we're developing a second deposit. We put in 40 holes within 200 meters of surface and we've outlined four gold zones. So we're developing a second deposit about 800 meters south of the Rowan uh, with similar geology. So adding ounces as we drill and making the ounces more valuable. At Rowan, we're already also within 200 meters of surface looking to uh, for a potential indication of a bulk sample at surface. 
So adding ounces, making ounces more valuable, and just finishing off here, I want to comment on the gold sector. Liquidity, historically low interest rates, negative real interest rates, and budget deficits and fiscal stimulus packages that are unfunded. This adds up to a positive gold sector, and we're looking to take advantage of that over the next period of time for our shareholders as we've done in the past. So be well, thank you, and have a great day. Hi there, my name is Gary Mussel, and uh, I'm the CEO uh, of Rockland Resources, a, a new junior mining exploration company with uh, just only 13.7 million shares issued uh, going public last week. Uh, the company's acquired a historical gold property just 17 kilometers southeast of the city of Nelson in the well-known mining Nelson Mining Division. Um, I have an experienced team myself, 45 years in the mining industry with uh, 35 years as a CEO and CFO of managing junior public companies. I've worked for producing mining companies for 15 years and uh, I've, I've joined the public company field since uh, 1986. Uh, I have an experienced team uh, that adds another 70 plus years combined with a professional geoscientist on the team, uh, a managing uh, director with extensive experience in reporting issuers, uh, providing office financial and regulatory roles, as well as a, a director that's worked in the capital markets within sales, marketing and roles and director of numerous public companies. So a well-rounded team, 70 years to adding to my 45 years of mining experience. Um, you know, we've, we've gone public. We've, we've got a, a, the old timer property as they call it. It's uh, not a strictly grassroots. It's had over 35 drill holes. So it's, uh, it's, it's an advanced property that we can expand quickly. And with this new investor base uh, of, of the CSE uh, listing will allow us to uh, raise capital and move this project forward uh, very quickly. And uh, uh, spring is just around the corner, so the summer exploration program is, uh, will be ready to kick up. Uh, we already have permits for the property, so uh, that's a big plus over a number of companies. We have a five-year mining uh, permit, so we'll be ready to go out the gate here uh, as soon as the snow leaves. Thank you for listening, and watch for Rockland Resources, RKL on the CSE. Hello, my name's Rory Quinn of E79 Resources. Um, E79 uh, Resources is a Victoria, Australia based uh, gold exploration company. Uh, the company came about uh, when my partner, Martin Pavlicek, uh, formerly of BHP, I think still the world's uh, largest gold company, um, uh, brought me this opportunity. Uh, it's my first uh, CEO role uh, before I spent about seven years with wheat and precious metals uh, on the financial side. Um, I think what what interested me about this area of the world, and I think why the Victoria gold fields has become uh, such a, a prominent area for gold exploration, uh, was the, the exploration led by Kirkland Lake uh, Gold, the Canadian company, um, and their Fosterville, um, Fosterville gold mine uh, there, where they um, explored down um, a plunge at the Harrier Zone and the Swan Zone. Um, and proved up uh, really a world-class ore body. Yeah, the, the term world-class gets overused, but I, I don't think the term has any meaning if we don't refer to the Fosterville, um, uh, the, the, the high-grade uh, nature of the Fosterville gold mine as world-class uh, with a reserve grade of roughly uh, an ounce per ton. And I think what, what that did is it really had explorers and people in the gold mar uh, space and precious metal space like uh, Martin uh, and myself um, uh, wanting to get involved in reimagining how this area uh, ought to be explored um, uh, at depth, um, not looking for outcropping and uh, um, necessarily outcropping material. Um, um, we're on our properties, uh, uh, both the Beaufort property is E79, uh, resources, um, most more advanced of the two properties. Um, there's been over a million ounces of alluvial gold, uh, historic mm -hmm. alluvial gold production. And uh, uh, that's never been sourced to hard rock. Uh, so there's been all of this gold sort of easy at surface, um, uh, never been, um, like I said, uh, uh, sourced down to 
um, the the really where we were looking is the uh, the fresh rock, the sulfide, uh, sulfitic rock um, at depth, um, uh, likely down about 80 to 120 meters, um, so so below below the oxide, um, and and that's what we're working towards. So we're working with uh, a structure that runs north south through our property. Um, it's a it's a structure that's uh, the Navarre Fault that's well known to produce uh, gold uh, in the region. Uh, we have a gold arsenic antimony, uh, 2,000 meter gold arsenic antimony anomaly uh, that runs across that structure. And we have an elevated uh, ridge that runs through consistent with this uh, faulting um, called the Camp Hill Range. And we're finding gold nuggets in real time off of this range, which is, uh, is quite exciting. Um, and they appear just, I mean, on a non-scientific basis, uh, quite sharp and 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 uh, rough and pitted, um, not smooth and rounded. Uh, so uh, we're of the opinion that they haven't traveled uh, terribly far. Um, and so the um, I think that's that's what we're working towards there. Our, our second property called Myrtleford uh, is really the consolidation of an entire historic gold mining camp. Uh, there's been over 70 uh, gold mining operations um, on that property and really all the exploration and mining that was ever done there um, uh, stopped at the water table uh, due to a lack of capital that smaller syndicates um, had at the time um, uh, and a lack of pumping capacity to get below the water table. Um, so again, the potential is at depth, um, and that's where the prize uh, is, is these high-grade shoots. The potential is at depth, uh, not at surface. And really, the Victoria Goldfields, uh, I think, has, has developed now into, if not the hottest area play in the world for, for gold exploration, um, certainly one of them. And it's been overlooked for, if not, if not centuries, certainly decades um, internationally, but even within Australia. Um, it's been overlooked um, relative to Western Australia, where if you wanted to put 500 square kilometers uh, together of uh, prospective gold exploration land or, or just mineral exploration land, uh, in Western Australia, you might be talking to one or two landowners, where in Victoria, uh, you're likely talking to 10 to 20. Um, so folks went to where the lower hanging fruit was in Western Australia. Um, and and uh, Victoria got overlooked and really to our benefit because now we have such a, a perspective area uh, for gold exploration and a really uh, supportive uh, environment. Uh, E79 resources, uh, you can find us at, um, uh, the ticker is ESNR um, and uh, our website is just the E, the number 79 resources Com. Again, my name is Rory Quinn. Thank you very much. Good day. It's Michael Dane, President and CEO of Temis Resources, Inc., TMAS on the CSE. We are actively exploring the Lablache, a northosite deposit for titanium, vanadium, and iron. The resource on the property is already over 100 million tons. In conjunction with that project, we are acquiring ORF uh, Technologies, 50% of that company, uh, for $600,000. It has technology that will increase the value of the rocks we recover by converting them directly from ore to a titanium dioxide pigment used in the paint, paper, and plastics industry. We're also in due diligence on Aaron Ventures' Piskanja Boron project in Serbia. Uh, there we have, uh, we'll have the right to 50% of the project by spending 10 million euros. That project would be the only uh, boron mine in uh, Europe and it is one of the highest grade deposits in the world. We're also uh, looking with ORF technologies at expanding the green mining industry. We are uh, putting together a package of patents with ORF that will allow greener nickel extraction, greener zinc extraction, non-cyanide gold recovery, and titanium, iron, and vanadium from our own projects. So looking forward to a great 2021, and I hope you all have a great PDAC. Cheers. Good afternoon. My name is Warwick Smith, and I am the CEO of American Pacific Mining Corp. We are the owners of the Madison Mine down in Montana. Uh, it is under partnership with Rio Tinto. Rio Tinto is the second largest mining company in the world. Uh, Rio is spending up to $30 million U.S. Uh, to earn up to 70% of the project. 
This will be their third year, uh, third drill campaign on this asset. Uh, we have significant news flow coming up from them with five drill holes uh, from last year. We've already released three. There's five more pending. Uh, we will announce the depth of their drill program coming up, uh, an updated 3D model, a sampling program, along with a new target uh, that they've come up with to drill this year. So we're very excited to get all of that news out. We do have two other assets. We have the Gooseberry Mine just outside of Reno. We have a partner on that who's going to be drilling it at the beginning of Q2 of 2021. And then we have Tuscarora, a high-grade epithermal system just outside of Elko, Nevada. That's going to be drilled by our partner there uh, beginning of Q2 as well. So all three projects have drilling coming up. The company has 65 million shares out. Uh, we have about a million and a half dollars in cash. We have $2 million in securities. We have a burn rate of around $100,000 a month. But don't let that low burn rate fool you. We'll have in and around $10 million worth of drilling in 2021. So for a company with a $12, $13 million market cap, partnered with the second largest mining company in the world, that's going to have $10 million worth of drilling this year, we think the risk reward is quite good. The symbol is USGD on the Canadian Securities Exchange. Feel free to reach out to me through our website, AmericanPacific.ca, if you have any questions. Appreciate the time. Thank you.